What up folks, how y'all doing? I'm Chef Ernie and welcome to my cooking experience. This week folks, we're actually preparing gumbo for the Sandestin Gumbo Cook-Off, one of the largest gumbo cook-offs in the region. We've placed many times and win, won many numerous awards, but today I'm gonna be cooking a very special gumbo and I wanna show you how I do it New Orleans style, baby. So here we go. Right here folks, I've got 24 pounds of fresh cut okra. You know, okra, okra is an is ingredient that is really used to thicken the gumbo. Um, and I'm going to show you a little technique that I learned from my grandmother. Um, so I start off with a stewed okra when I do my gumbo. So what I'm going to do is right now, folks, we're going to do a process what we call stewing the okra. Very important. I'm cooking this outdoor style because it's such a big batch that we have to prepare for over 500 people to come out and sample. Right now I've got my 24 pounds of uh, stewed okra, of okra that I'm going to get ready to stew. And what I do is folks, I put the okra in, then I take some fresh virgin olive oil. I don't use butter. This is a lot healthier, I think a lot better flavor. And we're just going to put some, some um, olive oil on the okra. So it gets a nice little saute, it won't stick. Okay folks, now anybody who, who knows anything about okra knows that it tends to get a little slimy, okay? So what I do is a process called stewing the okra. I'm gonna go ahead and heat this okra up, get it kinda, get it kinda slimy. Then once I get it slimy, I'm gonna add 24 pounds of diced tomato. And the acidity and the acid from the tomato is gonna cut the slime and make for the perfect beginning of an awesome gumbo. So just watch me and follow along. You see what I'm talking about, folks? You see how it's getting slimy in there? You see that slime? We're gonna get rid of that in a little while. But that's what helps, you know, the, the okra is actually a natural thickening agent in the gumbo. Okay, folks, this takes just a few minutes, depending on the size of the batch you're doing. Uh, but uh, as you can see, we're doing a pretty large batch today. Uh, but right now, I'm cooking down this okra a little bit, bringing out the slime, then we get ready to add our tomato. You have to babysit it the entire time, because one, one, one wrong thing can ruin the entire pot, like burning this okra right now. That's why, if you, like you watch, I'm vigorously stirring it so that it doesn't stick or burn to the bottom. this hard by stewing this okra like this all this okra is going to be nice and soft and be a supple addition to your gumbo not big chunks and hard. all right guys now we're at that point we're ready to stew the okra i've got 24 pounds of some wonderful fresh diced tomato we're just going to add that to our okra basically folks if i was doing this at home pay attention I used equal parts of okra and diced tomato. You know, I've got 24 pounds and 24 pounds right here, but if you were doing a small part at home, it might be two pounds and two pounds. But just remember, stew your okra with equal parts of diced tomato. And you know what, folks? Like my grandma used to say, when you add the tomato, it's like magic. Watch the magic. Give it a little while, watch when it starts stewing down. The acid and tomato is going to eat up all the sliminess, make for a perfect stewed okra to start our gumbo. You know, people in Louisiana are very religious about their food. And anything that's anything in Louisiana cooking starts off with what we call the Holy Trinity. And that is basically celery, bell pepper, and onion. Those three things are the base and the beginning of many, many, many great Louisiana Cajun dishes, as so with my gumbo right here today. So now that we got our okra stewed, now that we're at that point, we're gonna add our holy trinity, baby. First, we have our diced yellow onion. Next, we have our diced green bell pepper, another part of the holy trinity. Oh, don't be shy, baby. Can't be shy. The more the better, more better, more better, more better. The last part of the Trinity, folks, is our chopped celery, fresh celery. Boom. We're going 
gonna stew down our holy trinity in here with the tomato and the, uh, and the um, okra. Oh baby, aye baby, aye. Now we've got our holy trinity in there with our stewed okra and tomatoes. Now we're at the point we're gonna add 25 pounds of diced fresh andouille sausage. That's a lot of sausage, baby. But the secret is, folks, is doing it all in layers and flavors, in, in stages. You know, because a lot of things that make cooking good is not always the ingredients or the recipe, but it's the process of how you do do it when you're cooking that makes it great. It's the process of how you do it. Right here, folks, my secret weapon. I have 10 gallons of roux water. When I say roux water, it's like something I do. I like to bake my roux upstairs like I did earlier with my with my white flour and my oil. And then once I get to the color I want, I go ahead and mix it with the water and get it to mix and blend. I find when you blend the roux with the water before you add it to the hot gumbo, it, it, it blends together much better. You don't get clumps, you get a more even flavor to it. So here we go. We're adding our roux water, baby. As you can see, you see how my roux is blending in with the water? You can see it right there, it's coming out. That's why I like to blend it ahead of time. Makes for a, be makes for a better blend. Especially in a big pot like this, sometimes some of will get a little clumped together. Now it's time to put our seasonings in. I like to start with a little bay leaves. Bay leaves is great in the gumbo, it gives it a soft stick flavor. Okay, we're going with some bay leaves. Next, we're going with some kosher salt, folks. A little kosher salt. I like kosher salt, sea salt, kosher salt, whatever floats your boat, baby. A little Zatarain's powder crab ball. I like to add a little crab ball in there. Gives it that Louisiana flavor, especially since we're gonna put in a little fresh Gulf of Mexico blue crab in there. We want that flavor to come through. We're gonna go with a little cracked, cracked black pepper. Gotta have a little pepper in there. Okay, folks, the final three ingredients you got to be real careful with because they can really uh, tend to be a little spicy. We do this to taste. I'm going to put a little real fresh, a little real cayenne pepper. Okay, guys, a little, a little bit of everybody's favorite Louisiana season, Tony Sashery's. Look, Tony Sashery's. My little secret weapon is a little liquid crab ball. I like this Louisiana blend. It's got a nice flavor. Remember, this is concentrated. So you just need a few capfuls. You don't put too much of that, you hurt somebody. Now we're gonna blend these seasons down throughout. Next folks, we're gonna add my other secret weapon, which is our fresh Gulf of Mexico blue crab. You know, we're gonna put the whole shell in. I'm gonna break them in half and then cut them in quarters. So it'll be a nice little garnish for each little cup that we pass out at the gumbo cook off give it a great presentation. Plus, cooking the shell in the gumbo makes for some incredible stock and flavor that you can't duplicate out of a can. crab in here, we've got everything in here, we're ready to roll. The last step is to add 25, excuse me, 30 pounds of some fresh Gulf of Mexico shrimp.
Now you see folks, that's a perfect measure. All my ingredients brought my pot right up to the top line, baby. That's New Orleans style. That's when you know what you're doing, baby. Aye. Alright folks, now you've got to watch me prepare my winning gumbo for this year's gumbo cook-off. Right now all we gotta do is just let this simmer down for, for several hours. It's gonna be perfect. Then we're gonna let it sit overnight in our cooler and let all the flavors come together. So by tomorrow, baby, it's gonna be some real, really good gumbo. I'll see you at the gumbo cook-off tomorrow, folks. Aye! Pliable Productions operates along the Florida Panhandle offering professional media services to businesses and personal clients. We specialize in covering live events and performances in large and small venues. Visit quietwoodproductions.com for more information and follow us on Facebook. Call 850-324-8745 for an affordable quote. Hi, I'm Whitney Cooley with the Powerhouse Real Estate Group. We have an amazing team of Keller Williams Realtors ready to assist you with all of your real estate needs, whether you're buying or selling. Now I'm going to take you on a virtual tour of two of our hot powerhouse listings. First on the beautiful Destin Harbor, a private penthouse suite with a deep water boat slip, over 2,900 square feet, four bedrooms, three baths, private entry with security enhanced elevator. Words do not describe this two-story, two-balcony, amazing property. Now moving to the North Bay in the beautiful Dana Point neighborhood. This waterfront paradise has three bedrooms, an office, four bathrooms, three car garage, 3,400 square feet, a screened-in pool which overlooks the perfectly manicured yard, and a deep water dock on the gorgeous bay. So remember, whether you're buying or selling, the Powerhouse Group will get it done. So visit our website at floridapanhandleforsale.com. When you want powerful results, you deserve powerful agents. Hello, I'm Matt Willingham with Willingham Seafood. If you're ready for a fresh local taste of seafood, come visit our retail market on the beautiful Boggy Bayou in Valparaiso, Florida. Willingham Seafood deals with an assortment of fresh gulf fish and local bay shrimp. We're also in the wholesale business where we provide local seafood to our local restaurants. We're able to provide affordable costs because we have our own fleet of boats. Check us out for retail or wholesale at willinghamseafood.com. Remember, from our nets to your table, it's Willingham Seafood. What up, folks? I'm here with my daughter Whitney and my crew. We're here at the 2016 Gumbo Cook-Off in San Destin. Our gumbo's great. We just served the judges. We're going to knock it out the park. We're going to have a great time. I want y'all to sit back at home, relax, enjoy the show, baby. Aye! Guys, man, you guys got a great reputation for gumbo at this contest, man. You guys do very well every year. What's your secret? Make it with love. That's it. <laughs> love, That's love, it. love. Take it really easy. You know, make sure you follow the steps. But just put some love on it. That's, That's what right. you do. Because you're like, you're right. You know, gumbo is not just ingredients. It's a step in the process. How you do it, right? You have to do the roux first. Take it some time with the roux. Add the ingredients. Take it some time. You have to do it right. If you don't yeah. do it right, don't do That's it at all. You got to babysit it, right? That's right. You got a lot of love. That's the only way. Oh man, congratulations. Good luck to you, sir. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Same to you. Thank okay? you. Hey, Chef Bernie here at the Gumbo Cook-Off. I'm with one of my favorite places. It's been a, a landmark in San Destin area called Buster's Bar Grill. And every year, they're one of the veterans in, the, in, the, in this cooking contest. You guys, what's your secret? What's your secret? Oh, look at that. She won't give it away. That's it. You know, that, that seems to be the, the main thing everybody talks about. The gumbo to make your rice got to take a lot of love. But you know, Buster's Bar Grill, world famous, great oysters, San Destin. I mean, I've lived out here for 18 years, and you guys have been here how long? 28. Oh, 
my gosh. That's a landmark, bro. Wow. Wow. I think that's the oldest, right? Yeah. How many times have you got one? How many? I mean, many. Many. I mean, probably. probably I don't know how to read. I can't tell that much. You see that, folks? One of our veterans. Good luck today. Thank I hope y'all put on the trophy. No. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, meet people from all over the country. I ran in the pit bull here at the gumbo. The gumbo duck pit bull. How we doing? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> he fooled me. He fooled me. Not even close. <laughs> Nice to meet you. You enjoy right yourself out here? Oh, fabulous. How much fun is this? It's great, right? This is wonderful. Yeah. Fantastic. Guys, don't get no better than this. You know, great cars, great people, beautiful day. We're glad to be here. That's all we got to say. Right. We're going over Thank to the dark side to get some guns. Yeah, dark side, baby. That's where it's at. I think I heard of that yeah. place. Yeah. Alright folks, Chef Ernie, I'm with, I'm with Dickie Carrier from Louisiana, the best side of Coke man I've heard in so long. Come on Dickie man, so you related to Chubby, right? Chubby Carrier is my brother and my father, oh. Roy Carrier, man. It was a tradition, we started playing this music since the age of nine years old, man. And it carried him since the start. You know, it's really interesting because a lot of the, the side of Coke bands are family bands that passed down. Yeah, the yeah, right? definitely, man. It's we're, almost like a rite of passage. Yeah, we're the third generation Chubby yeah. and I. Oh. We also have kids of the fourth generation, man, with the music. Music was only in Louisiana, man, and now it wasn't even New Orleans and Texas. Now it's all over the world. All over the world. It is, and you know what's great about Zyka music? It just appeals to all ages. I mean, when you play that music, I don't yeah. care if you're a little bit of a child, yeah, or six matter, years man. old, you're going to be moving. And so many people haven't heard the music, but when they hear it, they can't stop moving. You're going to move something. You something has to move. Thank you so much, man. Keep it on, keep all right. it on. Thank you so much. Hey, man, Chef Bernie, baby, don't get no better than that. Bernie here, man. Meet people from all around the country. And look at this beautiful puppy right here. What's your puppy name? Davy Mac. Davy Mac. Got, a, got not only a first name, but a second name. That's some real stuff right there. <laughs> now, how's the gumbo? Are you enjoying yourself? Everything's been delicious, yes. Great, right? Yes, having a great beautiful time. Beautiful day, yes. beautiful atmosphere, great side of community. You don't get no better than that. Great drinks, too. Oh, you hear that, right? <laughs> you hear that, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, thank you, baby. You enjoy your oh, day. Chef Bernie here, gumbo cook off. Y'all you know, meet so many wonderful people here today. These folks right Best here. Best gumbo in town. Oh, Best gumbo. We voted for you. Oh, man. We love you. Hey, came back twice. Unsolicited. Unsolicited right there. Unsolicited. That's hey. right. We love, we love you. Hey, guys. Thank, thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Folks, what up, folks? Chef Ernie here. I'm with Liz, the girl who makes this thing happen here. She's done a fabulous job. Uh, how do you go on that, Alice? How do you do it? It's crazy. We've got 15 different restaurants here today, so uh, we're excited. About 2,000 people coming through. Wow, 2,000 people. Yes. Can you, I hope I made enough gumbo. Uh, you did too. Right. You better know right now. <laughs> well, have a great day. Yes. Thank you. Yes. All right. Yes. Yeah, you're right. Doing your thing. Doing my thing. Doing the big thing. Doing that big thing. Because you got the big food and the big personality. That's it. That's perfect. Man. That's it. That's awesome. you know, You know, it's funny, man. But look, you see this guy right here, man? One of my favorite people on the news right here. He's so real. He's so genuine. And he comes out here and helps out for this good cause, the gumbo. I mean, how many years you been doing this? I don't know. Many. Many? Yeah. Man, it's a great time. Thanks. I mean, well, it really no, is. One of the reasons is because of you. Ah, oh, no, make, man. You make it happen. <laughs> you make it, you make it happen. I'm having a great time meeting people from all around the country. All around the country. These folks are from where now? Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Oh man, huh? Are you Beer going? capital of the world. Oh, that's it, big capital of the world. How's the gumbo, guys? You enjoy it? Gumbo's great. I'll tell you what, 
I've had a lot of gumbo in my life up in North, in Wisconsin. But everyone I've had here has been better than any other I've ever had. Oh man, that's it. It's that southern place, man. It's that southern place. We must get all that place. Right here, you know. Everything's fresh. Man, I'm glad you're having a great time. Thank y'all for coming out for a great card. You know, folks, when I first opened up Dockside Cafe, I wanted to take the best of everything I loved about New Orleans seafood restaurants I grew up with and bring it to the Boggy Bayou. We feature fresh Gulf to table seafood here. That's right, folks. So I want you to come on out, enjoy. Go to mydocksidecafe.com for details and directions. I see you there, baby. Pliable Productions operates along the Florida Panhandle, offering professional media services to businesses and personal clients. We specialize in covering live events and performances in large and small venues. Visit QuietWorkProductions.com for more information and follow us on Facebook. Call 850-324-8745 for an affordable quote. Folks, if you're looking for a place to keep your boat docked, we're the location. We got beautiful brand new renovated docks. We got the most beautiful sunset views in the world. And you got my restaurant right here waiting for you when you come back, baby. So come on out, bring your boat. Give us a call. Go to mydocksidecafe.com for information. Or just give us a call, baby. 850-678-1241. I'll see you there. Here you will find immaculately constructed homes featuring large kitchens, cabinets with soft closed drawers, beautiful granite countertops, gorgeous brick exterior, walk-in closets, and upgrades galore. So contact me, Whitney Cooley, at 850-368-5782 and let's make your dream home a reality. Hi, right, folks, Chef Ernie here at the Gumbo Cook-Off with a beautiful group here, family. We've been doing it for a long time. In fact, the crazy story is this guy right here, who's not a restaurateur, was out here one year with one person. Yeah, and they beat my butt. Can you believe that? Man, what's up with that? They had a good gumbo. We had a good time. They had a good time, man. But you know, it's all about the good cause. You having fun today? And what's your name? Howdy. You're such a beautiful young lady, you enjoy the combo, right? That's great. Hey, who is you? Lindsay, boy, is she beautiful. Look at her. What's up, folks? Chef Ernie here. I'm with one of my favorite best old friends, Miss Rosie. What's up, Ernie? So I'm Rosie. Now, now, Rosie, you out here competing with the restaurant you're with, right? Yes, I am. I'm with Marina Bar and Grill of Sandestin. Yeah, right. And you guys are like, y'all you you won a lot of awards out We here. were number one last year. Wow. For sure. Number yeah. one last year. So they got a lot to live up to today. I heard y'all's gumbo was great. I tried to get over there, but I didn't get any. I know I was busy. I knew it was good, though. I heard your back hey, too, but you we were know. number 10, and we say 10 to win. Oh, Lord. Dang, you know but. that. What's up with that? Well, I wish you well, Rose. Thank you. Let's see. Hey, guys. What's up? What's up, folks? I'm here with Boomer right here from Tailfins down in Destin. You got a really good gumbo, Boomer. What you cook today? What you got, man? What I got, got, I got, I got seafood. Well, seafood gumbo you can get up at a restaurant. You got some andouille sausage, some uh -oh. okra, some baby shrimp, some Alaska oh, smoked crab, and I see a little green. I ain't gonna tell no. Oh, you're not gonna tell me. I ain't gonna tell you. Ah, that's good. Good luck to you, baby. Good luck, baby. I'm having a good time. I hope y'all having a good time. 
I'll see y'all next week, baby. Aye. I met these beautiful ladies from Alabama, right? Right! Oh, yeah, y'all having fun? Yeah! How's it going, folks? It's all great! Oh, man, look, this is what it's all about, folks. It's a wonderful day. We just for a great cause. We're having a good time. And you know what I say all the time? Aye! 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 <laughs> Uh, we, the six judges, were asked to uh, walk around and check out the, uh, the front of everybody's booth and then judge them on the energy and the enthusiasm and, of course, the decorations on their booth. So, again, uh, we had uh, second place going to Sunset Bay. First place, best display from the uh, six judges was... Who do we think it was? <laughs> Dockside is the winner! Come on up, Chef Ernie. Bring your crew. Watch your step. Watch your step. Ernie, who, who gets the, the, the check, Chef? He said he gets the check because his wife's not here. So. <laughs> yeah, you're right, folks. Look, first of all, thank everybody for coming out. This is a great event. We're happy to do it. You know, when you make the gumbo, the, the thing is you gotta put the love in the gumbo, baby. But thank y'all, baby. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Smile for Sarah Lynn now. Hold yeah, the checkout. Right. Hold the checkout. Aye. Aye. All right. Thank you, Chef Ernie. Congratulations. The next award is for the gumbo. And this this category is for those that have had one to five years. One to five year category. And starting out with an honorable mention. Honorable mention, $100 is the prize. And the winner is, well, you may as well come back up, Dockside. Dockside. Come back up, Chef Ernie. Congratulations, Dockside, Chef. Good job, good job. Hold on, take a group picture again. One more. Sarah Lynn. Everybody say cheese. We got it. Thank you again, Dockside. Best display of booth to bring the energy. Hey guys, we bring the energy, right? Yeah! yeah.